Here we have a sad math question. There is a scatter plot given over here. The scatter plot above shows a number of grams of both uh, total protein and total fat for eight sandwiches on a restaurant menu. The line of best fit for the data is also shown. According to the line of best fit, which of the following is closest to the predicted increase in total fat in grams for every increase of uh, one gram in total protein? Okay, if I find uh, the slope of a line, usually it will give uh, the change in y value with respect to change in x value. So here we have line of best fit. If I find uh, the slope of uh, this line of best fit, uh, it gives me the same thing. That is change in y value with respect to change in x value. Usually we take, consider the vertical axis as y axis and the horizontal axis as y axis. On the vertical axis we have total fat and uh, on the horizontal axis we have total protein. So the line of best, I mean the slope of the line of best fit over here will give uh, the change in y value. That is a change in total fat with respect to a uh, change in total uh, protein. So that will give the result uh, for the question to be answered over here. Okay, so now our aim is to find uh, the slope of uh, the line of best fit. So for that, I need uh, two points uh, on the line of best fit. Okay, let me choose uh, two points on the line of best fit. Uh, okay, let me consider uh, the point over here. So at this point, the x point is uh, 20 and the y point, uh, we, have to, we have to get the y point. Uh, this point is almost close to halfway between uh, 30 and 40. So halfway means it's 35, but this point is uh, not exactly uh, the middle of 30 and 40. It's very close to the middle value of 30 and 40. So I can consider 34 uh, as y point over here. Okay, let me choose another point over here. At this point, uh, the x point is 30. And uh, the y coordinate, uh, so it's almost close to 50. I think uh, we can take the y coordinate as uh, 48. Okay, now I've taken the two points on the line of best fit, that is uh, 20, 34. And uh, the other point is 30, 48. Okay, now let me consider the first point as x1, y1, and uh, the second point as x2, y2. Okay, so whenever I find uh, two points on a line, and the formula to find the slope of a line is m equals to y2 negative y1, over x2 negative x1. So here the value of uh, y2 is uh, 48, the value of uh, y1 is uh, 34, and the value of uh, x2 is uh, uh, 30, and the value of x1 is 20. And uh, when I subtract uh, 34 from 48, I'm getting uh, 14, and 30 negative 20 becomes uh, 10, 14 over 10 is uh, 1.4. Okay, now I got the slope of the line of best fit, that is m equals to uh, 1.4. But I am writing this slope 1.4 as a fraction by taking denominator 1. So why should I write the slope 1.4 as a fraction by taking denominator 1? Because when I write the slope as a fraction, the value we have in numerator refers to a change in y value and the value we have in denominator refers to a change in x value. Okay, here on the y-axis we have a total fat. So the numerator 1.4 over here refers to change in uh, total fat let me write total fat in grams okay and uh, the value we have in denominator one refers to x value on uh, x axis we have total protein so the value one over here in denominator refers to uh, change in total um, protein in grams let me finish writing so both of them are in grams Okay, now let's understand uh, this uh, context. Here we have a positive value. So that is uh, the total fat increases by 1.4 grams for every one gram increase in total uh, protein. So now we got the answer that is a predicted increase in total fat is 1.4 grams for every increase of one gram in uh, total protein. So when I look at the options over here, so the answer, uh, I mean, uh, the value we have in option C is very close uh, to the one what we got over here. So the correct answer choice for this question is option C.